Hey there, community. Welcome to the Providence Podcast, and welcome to this third Sunday of Advent, this Gaudete Sunday, the Sunday of joy, as we get just a little closer to Christmas. I'm wearing my rose-colored scarf, so I'm all ready. And so this Sunday, we are going to talk about joy. What I notice in these readings for this Sunday, especially the one from Isaiah, is how joy does not just belong to people. God is so magnificent that everything rejoices, including the earth. Every bloom, every piece of land, every created being exalts in God's glory. The earth is like a person and God cares for it just as God cares for people, especially the most vulnerable Creation and people are intimately connected and delight in God together. I feel like a lot of people have sort of lost that connection these days. I was thinking of the poem, God's Grandeur by Gerard Manley Hopkins. And in it, he says, all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil and wears man's smudge and shares man's smell. The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. So even though humans have made our mark on creation, our very shoes prevent us from walking barefoot on the land. We have touched the earth with destruction, but we no longer allow the earth to touch us back. As we lose touch with the land, Literally, we lose touch with the most vulnerable people, too. Even the meager resources that poor people have are being stripped away bit by bit. How can we rejoice on this Gaudete Sunday when poor people around us and creation, too, are being just run over? Well, I think we can rejoice because it's not too late. We can do better. And God is with us, calling us to align ourselves with God in caring for people and creation. And this call is something my community has been talking about for a while. In the past few years, we've made an effort internationally as sisters from Madagascar, Europe, and North and South America have discerned together about how best to respond to the needs of people and creation. That global connection is part of the real gift of belonging to an international community. So we've talked about the realities in each of our specific regions and the world in light of our providence spirituality, which calls us to risk to care for others like God cares for us, and to trust God. One call we've constantly heard is to be providence for vulnerable people and creation. Like the writer of Isaiah, we too see creation as a person, as one with us. The most vulnerable people and creation are asking us to do better by them and we respond with care and alliance because we're not separate, we are one. The call to care for the vulnerable is not just for my community though. God is calling each one of us to do that. People are in need and the earth is in need. And since the days of the prophets in the Hebrew scriptures, God has been calling us to care for each other. Together, we can change what we have done to put the vulnerable in mourning. Together, we can turn mourning into joy. We just need a little patience and the recognition that any good we do comes from God, who is with us as we seek to do good. You know, in Hopkins' poem, nature is not personified, but divinized. Nature is part of God. No matter what people do to it, God is present in it, even renewing it, ever giving us another chance every single morning. 
Hopkins writes, and for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness, deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, oh morning at the brown brink eastward springs because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with ah, bright wings. God is a part of creation, and creation is part of God. Despite people's lack of care and even destruction of the earth, it is being renewed because God is merciful and because God's love is infinite. So let's rejoice. People all over the world are responding to the call to bring justice and peace to the earth and all of its inhabitants. Let's lay our hands gently upon the land and remove our shoes and allow this holy ground to touch us back. Let's rejoice because the reign of God is near and here among us and within us and yet to come. Let's allow ourselves to be moved by the beauty of the earth and to rejoice with it. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Indeed, the Lord is near. Amen. And now let's continue our reflection. What is your relationship with creation? How much time do you spend in nature? And what effect does it have on you? For what are you rejoicing right now? How is God with you in that rejoicing? What's God's invitation for you as you live into this third week of Advent? Thanks for listening to the Providence Podcast. I hope you continue to connect with God's Space and, of course, the Sisters of Divine Providence of Kentucky. 
Godspace, we have all kinds of ways to stay connected. Small groups, prayer opportunities, social and service events. Coming up on December 10th at 6 p.m., we'll be offering Advent Taze, a beautiful and simple way to pray together in this season of Advent. We'll gather in person at the Godspace house and also online via Facebook Live. So, wherever you are, I hope you come to prayer. You can find out more information at godspacecommunity.com. As you enter into this week and the season of Advent, may you notice all the ways that God cares for you, and may we all take good care of each other. Peace.